Siru, which is a company that makes tripods and various other camera accessories, sent me this little tabletop tripod, the 3T15, and it's got a ball head on it. At first, I wasn't sure what the heck I was going to use this thing for. I rarely use tripods in general, but then, over the last few weeks since this thing showed up, I found myself using this little tripod on almost every single shoot. Ever since my Gorilla Pod went loose on me, I've been looking for something to replace it. Not because I like using tripods, but because sometimes even when you're shooting handheld, you just want something to hold on to, and to be able to place your camera down safely. Plus, now that I have the Ninja 5, I've been setting the monitor up on this little guy so I can see what I'm doing for these flat lay sequences. Take this setup for example. I tested shooting some B-roll with the GH5 on the Ninja 5. The Siru tripod has no issues at all with this payload, and this is by no means a light setup. This makes it a really great and easy to use rig for low angle product shots and B-roll. And with some simple cropping and post, you get some nice easy slider shots without the need for a cumbersome slider. Beyond the use case scenarios, what's really amazing about this little guy is how much weight it can handle and how durable it is. The entire tripod is made of metal. This thing feels basically indestructible and all of the joints lock strong. At 89 bucks, it's by no means a cheap tripod, but the build quality definitely reflects its price. And when you're loading thousands of dollars of camera gear on it, you don't want something plastic or cheap. I think the price is right for how strong this thing is. Out of the box, you get the tripod, an archetype mount plate, and a pretty nice little travel case for it with a strap. I think the worst part about this tripod though is the included base plate. I just find it a tad too small and clunky to attach and reattach to different gear constantly. Even though Siru provides the tools for you to do so, I'll probably be replacing this with a toolless Arca plate very shortly. What it really comes down to is whether or not you can justify the expense for something like this. It's by no means a required piece of gear and it's also quite niche. But if you're someone that doesn't mind using full size tripods, you could easily get away with not owning something like this. I don't need this tripod, but after using it, I definitely want it. Here's some quick behind the scenes on this video, even though this whole video was actually kind of a look into how I make these, but we're still using the top-down tripod with the X-T3 and Ninja 5, and the RGB light really came in handy on this one. Thanks so much for watching, and let me know in the comments which tripod is your favorite and whether or not you think the Siri tabletop would fit in your workflow. I'm Patrick Tomasso, and you'll hear me next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.